A lot of people have been asking me about circuit bending so I thought I'd give you a video on how to do it. Now it's pretty simple you've got your, well in this case we're using a Mega Drive 2 which I can't focus on there we go so the main chip we want to fiddle around with is uh, this fellow here now we don't want to mess around with pins 40 or 20 they're on diagonal corners because uh, they're power and ground. All the other chips are data so messing around with them causes uh, graphical glitching on screen which you know let's have a look at it. Now this Mega Drive is the one I've been having troubles with anyway so I figure there's no real harm playing around with it. So I've just got a, just a wire that I stripped with my new wire cutters and we're just going to go ahead and circuit bend some zero wing. If the console can work long enough. Not even circuit bending yet. There we go. That's better. So, pretty much just poke at things. Oh, I did not like that. Okay, that goes it to reset. Oh god, it's in black and white now. And that's how you circuit bend. Oh man, this console's buggy. We should have worked long enough for me to show you anything. Cats! Circuit bending. Oh, it's a zig. I don't understand why the uh, tracked mode doesn't have any sound.
Whoops. Now let's try Sonic. Sonic 1. Dun, 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 dun. So as you can see, it produces some interesting visuals. Ultimately it's pointless, but you know, whatever. I don't care, it's a Sunday. Do whatever I want. Ah, that's the fault of the uh, console. Could actually be that chip that's giving me problems. Ah well, let's get some uh, solder on it. Some wires. 